Hello, my name is uh, Johan Graas. I'm chairman and investigator from the Dutch Foundation Aircraft Recovery Group 1940-1945. Our foundation is doing for 35 years uh, investigations to missing World War II airplanes and their crews. Uh, I'd like to tell you something about the brackets we is found uh, in 2008. Uh, in 2008, the rescue team of Marken, they have to pick up a boat with engine troubles and uh, when they lift the anchor, there was an airplane part on the anchor. So, uh, uh, Hans Vierweiser of the, uh, of the team called me and asking if I could come and so I identified the part as a electric engine from the main landing gear. Uh, after uh, that we were uh, going in 2009 we start a big investigation and we were going up to the location where uh, the part was found and we found much more parts of a short Stirling bomber so we know uh, it was the location of a crest site of this Stirling. Uh, the divers brought up several parts and we tried to identify the plane and in the first days we found the aluminium part of the structure on the t from the tail section and there was a, a number on it but it was very difficult to read so uh, first we thought it was the short sterling BK710 but later on we identified the plane as a BK760 uh, we found also a cigarette case with initials GMC, James Michael Campbell. So we know now for 100% it's the BK-716. We were going with the aluminium part uh, with the number on it. Uh, the last number was difficult to, to see. So we were going up to the forensic police of Amsterdam and it took four and a half hours to identify uh, the number and so uh, we found out that it was the BK-716 so until that moment we found out that we have evidence that uh, then we start the investigation find out if there are human remains in the brackets and later on we found four parachute locks and they were, yeah, when you find a parachute lock, you know crew members are still on board. Uh, we found more evidence uh, that they are still in the brackets. We found also uh, uh, a part of a flying jacket and a, a, a glove. So it are also uh, evidence that crew is inside, still inside the brackets. We, uh, after that, uh, we were talking with authorities if, uh, to find out if there is a possibility to let recover the air uh, plane and uh, hoping that uh, now the, the, the recovery will start about two months in March uh, 2020 and we hope all the seven crew members will found and to give them an official grave. The aluminium plate is from the tail fuselage and it's exactly the part where they painted the ceiling number of the airplane on. But uh, normal they paint it in white or red uh, uh, farb, or, uh, farb. But uh, the farb is gone and you can only see uh, yeah, when you, you paint on aluminium, it's a little bit, the, the, it looks like it's corrosion. And you can see over here a 7, a 0, and this is a 6. And in the beginning we thought it was a 0, but it is a 6 uh, after investigation by the, by the, the, the Dutch uh, police from Amsterdam, the forensic police in Amsterdam. So we know for 100% it's the BK-760.
16. And most interested, one of the interesting parts is a mascot, a kind of a mascot. It's an elephant. And uh, the, the BK 716 is from the 218 Gold Coast Squadron. And Gold Coast, it's now called Ghana in Africa. But Gold Coast was uh, before, uh, yeah, first um, connected with the, the British. And when you see in a flag of Gold Coast, there is an elephant in it. So one of the group of members made it from wood. It's the same kind of wood they used in the airplanes at that time. started from down in market on 29 March 1943 and his target was Berlin and we know that uh, more than 300 bombers were going in the direction of Germany and the BK-716 lost his bombs over Berlin and on his way back the plane was shot down by a German night fighter and the pilot of the night fighter was Werner Rapp. We think that the plane, yeah, that the crew, yeah, uh, it was going very fast. And we found also the, the, the gas throttles and we can see that the plane was flying on cruise control. So nobody of the crew uh, uh, couldn't bail out. So we were still hoping to find all the seven group members and when they have an official grave it's most important for their relatives to have a, a place where they can come to. Ten years ago uh, after finding the frackets uh, we thought it was a short sailing uh, BK-710 and so we found also all the relatives of the crew of BK-710 and they were coming to the museum and uh, they were uh, very happy that we found the records but it was terrible uh, for the family to tell them later that it was not the short steel in the BK-710 but the BK-760 but I have to thank all the families of the, the BK-710 uh, group members, they did, uh, they, they wrote letters to the, the government asking for recovery of the records. They did also a lot of work to let recover the plane. And so uh, we will change the, this, this exhibition, but we will remember both crews also uh, remember uh, the crew of the BK-710 and the BK-760 and I will thank you all uh, by this for what you have done.